A conductor may conduct electricity through movement of electrons or ions. Metallic conductors belong to the former category and electrolytes to the later. The metal conducts electricity in solid as well as in the molten stage. The conductivity of metals depends upon the number of valence electron available per atom. The atomic orbitals of metal atom form molecular orbitals, which are so close to each other in energy as to form a bond. This is a typical example of sigma bond and this is your pi bond. If this band is partly filled or it overlaps with a very high energy unopposite conduction band then electrons can flow easily under an applied electrical field and the metal shows the conductivity. This is partly filled band. This is overlapping bands. You are able to see the overlap. It's metal. A small gap it's semiconductor and this is really a big gap that's called Fermi level that's called insulator. This is balance band. Once if it moves it becomes conduction band. It started conducting. You can see it here. So if the gap between filled valence electron band and the next higher level occupied band that's your conduction band is large. Electrons cannot jump to it. Cannot jump to it. And such a substance have very small conductivity and it behaves as an insulator.